This is my winter wetsuit. 43 liters. <laughs> Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and this is the Lost Rad Ripper. This is part of the Retro Series, uh, Rad Ripper, Retro Ripper, and Retro Gun. The Rad Ripper, which is what we have here, is the small wave version, kind of like your your daily driver for just going to the beach and uh, and taking a surf, no matter no matter what the conditions are. It's got that 80s wing squash tail, uh, big a lot of tail area in this one. So it's good. this board's going to have a lot of power underfoot and uh, the ability to create a lot of speed when the waves don't have a lot of push. Um, it also has quite a a flat entry rocker in the front of the board. Uh, one of the things that Matt did on this board compared to the Retro Ripper, which is the wing round tail, is he lowered the nose rocker of the board just to make it instantaneously just take off and start flying like as soon as you get into the wave. Uh, loosened up the, the nose to keep it from grabbing with a little bit of V in the, in the shape uh, here, going into a shallow uh, single to double uh, out the back of the board. This board packs uh, quite a bit of volume, and this one specifically I got sized up for winter surfing with five, six mil wetsuit, boots, gloves, everything on. So it's uh, six, six, 21 and three quarters, two and three quarters, 43.5 liters. The Red Ripper is available. This is a PU Poly. Obviously, they're available in PU Poly. They'll also be available in carbon wrap and C4 technology and this specific board, uh, the art on this one is by Matt's daughter actually, Art by Ryder, and uh, really cool looking air spray on, uh, on the rails. And obviously some era specific logos, got the Mayhem logo on the nose, which is bitching, and then uh, on, the on, the, on the bottom as well on the nose, and then the Lost Circular logo, and then this era specific rail logo as well, Lost Surfboards. And um, you can see that the deck of the board is uh, between, I would say, here and here. So you can see it from here to here is really flat. But then as you go into the rails, right at this point right here, it really drops off quite a bit. So even though the board's two and three quarters from here all the way across, when you get to here, it really, really drops off quite a bit. And uh, when you're looking, that's something that you can't see in a photo. Like if you're looking online, if you're looking at the Retro Ripper or this board, um, it's something that's on both of those boards and it goes all the way to the nose. You can see it has a, a decent beak on the nose as well. Um, but then the rails get really, really nice and foiled uh, for a board that's that thick and that flat um, across the deck. So that's something you can't see in a photo, but when, you, when you're holding the board in your hand, it's definitely noticeable. And what it does is it gives you a really stable platform, really good for paddling, catching waves, also good for packing volume and make the, make the board uh, you know, glide well and generate speed well in small surf, but you're still able to get that edge, get that rail in the water when you need to for like really good driving uh, turns. Again, this, is, this board's made just to be an all around kind of everyday shoreboard and uh, you know, for, for gutless surf. It's got a lot of area in the back of the board, so that's gonna help you generate speed. And on this board, you can ride it as a thruster uh, or a quad. So, and that's just personal preference and, uh, and the fins that you got in your stash. It is the Rad Ripper from Lost Surfboards. Again, it's part of their retro series paired up with the, uh, the Retro Ripper and the Retro Gun. If you have any questions about this board or you'd like to place an order, you can give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000, or you can look us up online, realwatersports.com. Thanks for tuning in.